bat, rat, and macaque. Sliced and charred exotic animals are on sale at Indonesian food markets as activists try to stop locals from eating endangered species in a remote corner of their native Indonesia. Amid smoking volcanoes and dense jungles, macaque monkeys' face are being aggressively hunted to be eaten. Authorities and activists are stepping up efforts to persuade villagers on Sulawesi Island to stop consuming the critically endangered monkeys, one of many exotic creatures that form part of the local indigenous community's diet. The animal, whose scientific name is Macaca nigra, is part of a kaleidoscope of exotic wildlife found across Indonesia, including tigers and orangutans, who face a range of threats from poachers to the destruction of their habitat. In other places some macaque species are facing extinction because of shrinking habitat. Unita Sui from Selamat Ganyaki, a foundation that campaigns to protect the primate, told AFP. But here the habitat is getting smaller and people are eating the monkeys. The macaque's meat is prized by the ethnic Manahasan people, a largely Christian group in the world's most populous Muslim-majority country who have no reservation about eating exotic animals, unlike Indonesia's Islamic communities. I like the taste, hot and spicy, it is similar to wild boar or dog. Nita, a 32-year-old local Minnesotan who gave only her first name, told AFP. At a market in Tumohin City, a stomach-churning array of burnt, mutilated animals were on offer. Black-crested macaques, flame-roasted and hold, with pain grimaces etched on their faces, were on tables for sale alongside piles of sliced open pythons, burnt bats and dogs. The macaques and some other animals at the market are protected by Indonesian law and officials have in the past raided the site, leading to violent clashes with vendors. But the trade in exotic creatures was still booming during a recent visit, with some local travel agents even offering tours to adventurous foreign travelers. The demand for the meat has prompted Manahasan hunters to go far and wide in search of the macaque, heading in pickups to remote parts of the island. The population of macaque and nigra in its natural habitat on Sulawesi has dropped more than 80% in four decades, from an estimated 300 per square kilometer (0.4 square miles) in 1980 to just 45 per square kilometer in 2011, researchers say. The International Union for Conservation of Nature classifies the monkey as critically endangered. As well as being threatened by their status as a local delicacy, the monkey's natural habitat is being destroyed by expansion of settlements and agricultural lands. As the population has fallen, the local wildlife protection agency and activists have started campaigning to save them. Tents manned by activists explaining that the monkey is protected have been set up at local markets, while billboards have been put up by roadsides to warn people that they face up to five years in jail if they hunt the creatures. NGOs and the local government have pushed schools to include lessons on conservation, including about the macaque and nigra, in their curriculum. Campaigners have also reached out to churches in the mainly Christian area to urge priests to preach that humans are the guardians of Earth and must protect endangered creatures like the monkeys," said activist Sui. They are also seeking to highlight the macaque's key role in supporting biodiversity. As they swing through the jungle canopy, the macaques disperse seeds and encourage growth of some trees, according to Stefan Lenti of the Macaque Nigra Project NGO. But campaigners warn that villagers' hunger for the meat heaps extra pressure on a creature already threatened by habitat loss. Hunting the animals for food is the final nail in the coffin for a dwindling population, said Simon Purser of the Sulawesi-based Tasikoki Wildlife Rescue Center.